guys and welcome to a bonus video this week I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul currently they have back to school and some Halloween and fall items I also got some stuff for organizing my space here so I just wanted to share what I got and maybe give you some ideas what you can get there and how you can use it and what they got for this Halloween 2022 and in case you're new here hi my name is Karina welcome it's so nice to have you introduce yourself in the comments I am a full-time stay-at-home mom I have a daughter who is three and a half years old and a son who is 14 months old already and here on my channel I share videos like this hauls from different stores but for the most part I share my motherhood experiences ideas tips and tricks I share my homemaking journey to try and make motherhood and fatherhood a bit easier on you so if this sounds like something you could get value from subscribe I post every single Thursday click the bell icon because I also do a bonus video like this one so let's jump into what I got at Dollar Tree in August 2022 I actually went with my son and he was so sleepy and I was hoping to have a nice and interrupted Dollar Tree trip but I ended up rushing through the store kind of kind of obviously I spent a lot of time there but he was he was so so angry with me he even started pinching me in the end anyways they grabbed plenty of things and uh, I guess let's just start with whatever pops up here the Dollar Tree I went to has that Dollar Tree Plus section I actually decided to get this light up pumpkins uh, I hope they're not gonna scare anybody, but I just want that little bit of spice in uh, Halloween time. Uh, I don't like the skeletons or anything like that, but you know, angry looking pumpkins, I think this is spooky enough. Uh, and I'm sure Mikaela will love this. Halloween apparently is one of her favorite holidays. I plan to just spread them maybe on the like countertop or maybe on our centerpiece of the table, but also because I uh, was kind of stressed when I was shopping because my child wasn't happy and apparently if you didn't know you can exchange things at Dollar Tree you can't return them but you can bring them in and exchange uh, with no problem I think you can try to do it even without receipt so yeah I'll be going through this and thinking what I want to keep but so far I feel like keeping this because this is really the only Halloween decorations that I own. I became kind of passionate about uh, decluttering and simplifying your life and the stuff that you own because it, it helps me and my mental state so much. Uh, so this is on the topic of organization. This is just an over door hooks uh, uh, I am planning to use for a little closet we have in our little hallway which I am trying to organize. I always don't have time for it because I'm kind of like a perfectionist in a way and I noticed that lately that what keeping me from doing things is the fact that I think I need to do it all at once and all perfectly but I am trying to pivot from that mindset and do little by little and better done than perfect is a great concept so yeah uh, this is gonna go over the door to maximize the space there uh, and I'm gonna just hang my purses this is gonna be should be pretty comfortable so yeah they have um, lots of organization stuff as you know and this is one of the things I'm pretty sure everybody could use to maximize your space another organization item which actually came from their like back to school area I already used one set of these I bought two because these are just perfect for organizing your drawers like junk drawers and your bathroom drawers so so far I organized my junk drawer and I'm gonna insert a little clip of how it kind of looks now and it's still kind of you know overwhelming but now it's not just one big clutter now at least it's sectioned and make a little bit of sense so I'm planning to use more of this for more drawers maybe come back for even more because this is just a great organization tool then I grabbed a few of the removable hooks always great thing to have especially when you're trying to organize your space so many things you can do with this look up some Dollar Tree organization hacks because I'm just getting into it don't want to sound like an expert randomly I pulled out uh, just blank notes I find having this on hand always helped me and they don't have like a ton of designs but I thought this one was the most neutral uh, because this can be used as thank you notes this can be used as birthday cards so anything at all uh, so I bought more of these and since we're talking about you know um, birthday cards and stuff I actually decided to stock up on uh, some uh, 
bags mutual happy birthday and a couple of these they're just all different sizes because i ran out of uh unseamed bags party bags i have mostly like baby shower stuff left and um i needed some to have on hand because that's always a great idea so you don't have to run into a store last minute and especially if you don't have a dollar tree nearby you're gonna end up going to a different store where you're gonna pay for this so much more than a dollar 25 so i'm glad i have this now this looks like christmas to me but it's just something i grabbed randomly i saw that it's like uh gender neutral colors and no particular occasion those two and one is a happy birthday besides that i grabbed just uh some the tissue papers i can put inside so just a reminder in case you run out of your gift supplies maybe it's time to restock whenever you are going to dollar tree anyways grab some of those then i got just some pom-poms Mikaela loves to play with them like in the water and ours were too old and maybe some mold was in them because of how much they used to be in the water uh, so I just decided to get new ones there are so many things you can do with this to entertain your kids you can even google or search on Pinterest ways to implement this with your toddler <laughs> this is a random multi-purpose uh, car spray car cleaner I was told that this is like a magic thing and everybody have to have it and for the dollar twenty five price it's amazing find of dollar tree so yeah i think i saw this in other stores and obviously the price is much higher so get stuck up on this one with kids you always need something and i end up using just their baby wipes and obviously that doesn't help as good as this should i also found these coloring and activity books that Mikaela is finally into because you know they have little uh, tasks she can do and I've been enjoying doing lots of tasks with her and as you can see she's still obsessed with Minnie and she loves her baby shark actually I like baby shark activities here better than the ones in mini book just uh, suits my three and a half years old better I don't know but yeah Obviously, paper quality is not great, but for $1.25, something that you're gonna use up and will end up in trash in just, I don't know, a few uses, if you really actually sit down and do all of it, this is this is great. And it's also a great gift. I bought a few more random activity books for about uh, four, three and five year old age, and uh, I was keeping them for, you know, occasion when uh, Mikaela's um, friend in the preschool has a birthday and she could gift it to them or even any other birthdays that we can be invited to it's always great to have some things like this and that you can put together last minute and show up at the birthday party with a great gift that a um, child gonna like so definitely a great place for gifts for kids um, next uh, this container I found in the back to school section and this worked just perfect for a little Lego set Mikaela has this has so many little pieces and that was like four years plus and we're not really playing with it just yet especially when Leonardo is around uh, but keep an eye on these containers great for storing Legos and some other little toys or crafts okay moving on to fall and Halloween stuff I got this piece of decor to hang on our door I've been loving uh, hanging some seasonal boards <laughs> on our door it, it brings seasonal mood a lot and again they're just dollar 25 and i plan on reusing them uh, but i can also donate them and don't feel bad about buying another one next year uh, but the key part is donate the previous one so you don't create clutter because obviously if you need another one if you want another one you won't use a previous one very low chance but it will take real estate in your home so yeah keeping that in mind i found this to be the most beautiful door piece that i could find there i actually it actually caught my eye right away and i fell in love i'm excited to put it on my door but it's still august and maybe closer to the end of the month i will put it but right now i have nothing on my door i just feel like it's a little too early for fall although i am so excited for a holiday season this year because like i said my kids well Mikaela, are much more aware and much more into all of that and that's why i actually got a lot more stuff that is kind of for her and something i want to like diy i see myself doing like a little vase with some 
random stuff uh, that is gonna look like a decor. So I found these mesh tubes that uh, I can put in a vase or I can actually repurpose them for some kind of Halloween sensory bean for Michaela, which I will be working on, I think. I'll have another trip to the store uh, and get more stuff or use what I have here and create maybe at least one sensory bean for her. So this might go to a decor and also a sensory bean. They have lots of colors of this. And I got these beautiful leaves. And look how beautiful are these pumpkins and these pumpkins again sensory bean and or decor i couldn't pass by these are way too beautiful like they make my eyes happy they make my heart happy so i wanted to bring them home and have them sitting for a couple of months as a decor so yes i also couldn't resist and grab this but like i said i really don't have any Halloween or fall decor and this year I decided to grab some so besides this which is obviously for Halloween uh, this is gonna be sitting on my table centerpiece for a little while and this is like it's felt or what is it called but this is so squishy the color is so beautiful look how it matches Michaela's room and it matches our pink carpet so it, it's gonna look great and it's gonna again just make me happier and bring the mood then you've got little sunflowers and acorns again sensory bean or decoration beautiful fall stuff and these are just like real ones just like real ones is gonna love it then i couldn't resist and grabbed a halloween kitchen towel i don't have any so i think it would be okay to use it for a few weeks before halloween um again also for my daughter or maybe i'm just making an excuse i don't know so yeah just one just one kitchen towel for halloween that i will reuse next year or if i don't i will get rid of it and buy a new one again because it's just dollar 25 i'm sure you go to target you go to other stores and it's so much more expensive then i got so many cute stickers for michaela so look at this but they're like double stickers on top of each other so beautiful these are like make yourself stickers you can stick to the wooden pumpkins these glitter pumpkins yeah i also i got her a couple of painting sets i thought this year she'll be ready for this look at these cute owls she loves owls and this pumpkin yeah i'm sure this is something we could do with her and again dollar tree has just amazing price for this craft that uh, might end up messy and you might not want to keep them forever so you won't feel bad throwing them in case you don't want them uh, but also they might end up very beautiful and you might end up uh, using them as a decor in your child's room and you know a lot of fun and something to do for the season then I decided to grab this cupcake kits one is Halloween one is like Thanksgiving and fall I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to do any cupcakes, but I guess now I will have to because I always want to make something sweet, but you know, on the healthy side, always don't have time for this. But again, I wanna make something special for Michaela, and I think I will use them. I will try to at least. Or if not, the worst case scenario, I can keep them for next year and try again. And there is something I bought for myself, again, couldn't resist. I thought that was so cute. Which way to the wine? Hmm. <laughs> I have a glass similar to this and I thought that this would make a perfect Halloween glass that again not sure how it will stay on for how long but if I hand wash it maybe it would stay on and I could just have myself a Halloween wine glass that I will put away after the season is done and pull it out again and be very happy to see it again I thought that was very cool they have some other things and how excited are you this year about the holidays like I said I'm extra excited and let me know in the comments below how you feel it in the middle of August about all the holidays coming and if you are buying any decor or anything seasonally yet and uh, since I talked about decluttering and I talked about this kind of in and out rule when when I bring something in and I already have something like that I need to declutter, donate, throw away, give away that other item that don't 
have multiples and don't clutter my space. If you need decluttering motivation, I have a few videos for you. I'm gonna leave them here, give this video a like, and I'll see you in one of those.